Right, we're here after um, Torquay 2, Welling United nil with Welling United manager Dean Frost. Dean, a um, bit of a level game and, until they scored. Have, have we lost to, to two soft goals tonight? Um, I, for the corner, um, I feel it's come about a minute or two earlier that we allowed them pressure from just us giving cheap possession away up the other end of the, th uh, the field. As you said, front men need to be reliable um, and they weren't. And then, um, yeah, they, 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 that allows him to break, have a little bit of pressure around that goal mouth, then a couple of corners. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I can't, I can't see from where I'm standing whether the, I think it's landed quite. Is it landed in the six-yard box? I would think. And so, yeah, maybe we could defend better. Um, and maybe I don't know. Merrick might think he can come for it, but. I don't know, I can't really comment because you know, I'm a long way from the goal, but it, it looked quite close to the goal for me. So, um, yeah, we, yeah it was a, I think yeah, you could say it's a soft goal. Then. We had possession in good areas of the pitch in the first half, and it's a pretty level game, anybody here will say. Yeah. But did we foul for a game lacking quality in, in the final third? Yeah, well, it's very clear, yeah. We, 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 we lack in the final third again. I reiterate, we are the lowest scoring team in the league. Um, so we clearly need to improve the number of chances we create, and we need to improve our, our ratio to to scoring them as well, or taking them. Um, you know, I really do believe you, you need a little bit of a break and a little bit of luck. You know, we've seen a, a great strike from Naughty. You know, just want it to go the other side of the crossbar. And shave it, shave the crossbar, and go in the batting net, as opposed to the top of it. And um, so, yeah, you, we need something to hang on to in a game, as opposed to going one or down, having to chase it. Um, and when you, you feel probably feel as a team, we haven't got loads of goals in us. It's always putting pressure on us as a team to keep clean sheets, and um, that's not always going to, you know, not, can't keep clean sheets every game. Um, got to give yourself a chance of winning games by scoring goals. Um, I thought first half we. We probably looked a bit more of a threat, um, in, or we had a bit more presence up top, and I think that allowed us to to attack a bit more than we have done in the last few games. Um, whether uh, you know, 80s, I think that's only third start for a few weeks, uh, you know, th uh, third start for the club, and then Tommy, that's his first start at this level of football, and yeah, maybe they was a bit, you know, rusty, a little bit tired in the second half, but yeah. We, you know, they, I thought they did right first half, um, but not enough second half. Um, Harry Lee didn't make it tonight. Can you tell us? Yeah, he's, he's just turned his ankle, so um, he, um, our physio starts Thursday. He's seen a physio tomorrow, um, uh, one that's local to him. He'll be in on Thursday to see our, our, our new physio, and uh, he'll be assessed, and we'll see wh where he's at. But, um, I thought a naughty yeah. coming and done OK. I think he's potentially a position he could play. I think he's got good legs, good use of the ball. Just look, like the rest of them, need, need to learn better decision making, and that comes from experience. Michael Chambers went off in the third, second minute. Tell us about uh, his injury. Less than a, yeah, <laughs> just uh, he's got a he's got a knee straight in, into the side where I suppose the kidney area, and his back. He went to get up, and he said my back just spasmed up, spasmed up, and um, I think he's going to have a painful journey home. I think it's a bad one. About uh, say bruising, it's just a uh, muscle spasms up to protect the area that he's been bruised. So I wouldn't think it's a long-term one, but it's a, probably going to be an horrible one for the next 48 hours. Um, the loan window has it closed, and or is there a chance of bringing in, in, in uh, non-contract well, players, especially up front? It's in your mind. A, it, of course, it's in my mind, but it's it's, it's freeing up money. I've got a combination of freeing up money or there's money to be available. Um, and I think it's, there isn't money to be available. Uh, available, And yeah, maybe I have to try and move, maneuver some players around. Um, yeah, as you can see with my squad, who, who who's in my squad at the moment and who's not. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I need to look at that and yeah, but there's not loads of money, or if, if any at all. So we, we've had a bit of a problem all season where we've had players sitting in the stand, not even in the squad. Is that in your mind now to try and reduce that squad size? Yeah, I think it's you know it's by choice that I picked a few uh, like Noel and, and uh, ja uh, James Ferry and Addy to come in on loan. I always knew that that was then going to make there's going to be always more players sitting in the stand or 
in and around the dugout area. Yeah, I'm not keen on that. I think it's it's unhealthy. Um, you don't know, you know, just having too many people around the, uh, the place that are not playing can have an adverse effect. So um, we got some very good lads that got good attitudes, but yeah, when you're not playing, you're not happy, and then you're around the club, and yeah, so I need to I need to address that. Um, yeah, I don't like to. I don't like too many people lingering around the place, and I think that was the case on Saturday. We had too many. We had people that have even left the club were lingering around our, our, our dugout at half time. I've heard it, and I, I don't like all that. I, 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 it's not what I'm, I don't think it sets right. What's the word? Right. I don't. Just I don't like right it. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Too many people lingering around the place, and um, yeah, who knows what they say when they're sitting in the stand. Um, they're human beings, they're unhappy, they're not, not playing. Um, but yeah, I don't like an overload of spare players. Um, all the shot on Saturday, we're not going to give up what we, seven points adrift or whatever it is. We just need to, we, well, we just. Are you just saying, if that, like, like tonight, the ball goes in the back and then it hits a bar and goes in, we, we were playing with, with confidence. Yeah, we just have of... to, I mean, the, the, all you can do is try and take, I mean, we, we talk about some of the mistakes and or areas we can improve, we've just done that and we'll do that on, on tra uh, training. Come on, you. Um, but also, we have to try and get in the head of the positive areas. The half hour against Wrexham before they scored, we're on top. And here, against the side that's Reeves being formed, they, although they're at the bottom, they've started winning the last few weeks, and they have some experienced players at this level. Um, I think it was an even, evenly matched first half. I think we had our fair share of play around their box and created some chances and some openings. And likewise, they was quite a threat going the other way. So you can you come here, five hour journey, Come to Torquay, you're not just going to, you know, walk it, uh, turn up and dominate again. Um, so yeah, it was even first half. I thought we in spells we did okay, and I thought we, as I said, we had two up top today, maybe a bit more physical presence up there, and a couple of more, a couple of focal points that allows us to join. Just a little bit of maybe lady luck that just goes our way. Then um, uh, I think there's some reasonable performances. It just tailed off at the end. Once we can we concede, and especially the second one. You can see the wind uh, again is knocked out of our cells, and um, all you can do is just keep fighting, trying to respond, and try and be organised for the next game, ready for the next game, and just keep believing that you know uh, that run will break. Um, yeah, again, I can't fault the effort of the lads, but they're absolute socks off, and um, you know um, just need a, a little bit of luck. I say luck, a bit of bit more care again around the final third and hopefully we can go one nil up as opposed to going one nil down having to chase again. Brilliant Dean, thanks for your time, safe journey home. Cheers. Right, we're with uh, Welling United man and match Kevin Locko after talking to Welling United nil. Um, what's the mood in the, in the dressing room Kev and is it a game that we sort of were on level terms with them for the first half and to come away losing is disappointing? Yeah, I think um, the mood at the camp right now will Obviously, really disappointing. We felt like the first 45 minutes we dominated the game. Uh, we had opportunities to score, but we didn't put them away. But half time, we were still positive. We just had to keep doing what we we're doing and not come away from what we've done in the first half. But um, unfortunately, that's what we did do. And uh, yeah, it's quite hard to take. Can you can you talk us through the uh, the goal, the, the first goal? Um, yeah. Should they be getting shots in there? Yeah, it was too easy. Um, corner kick, and we. Didn't, didn't muck up a man. Um, it was close to the keeper as well. Was the so. first shot over the line or was it the second shot that went over? Did we know? Um, I, I, I don't know. All I know is that we conceded the goal and it was bad marking. We uh, we should have stuck, stayed with our men and we didn't do that. And at, at this level, you'll get you know, you'll get you get done if you don't stay with your men. So yeah. ultimately, did we pay for when we were getting in good positions and? You know, on top at times. Yeah. Did we pay for not having enough in the final third? Uh, yeah, I think we had, a, especially the first half, we had loads of good balls. I think James Ferry put in a good ball in the first half, and uh, it's just about getting across our defenders. But you know, it's just it's just the way things are going for us. You know, with uh, Norts had a good shot from 30 yards out. You know, on another day it hit the crossbar and go in rather than go over the bar. So it's just the way things have been going for us. But um, as long as we keep performing in the way we did in the first half, we've got every chance of turning this around. There's plenty of games left. So. So against Wrexham for the first 20 minutes, we're on top, yeah. um, at testing the goalkeeper working. Today we've come away to talk here in reasonable form and we've at least give as good as we've got in the first half. 
Frosty said we need something just to go in. We need a bit of luck. We need to yeah. get on top in a in a game. As you said, the players still feel they can turn it around. So all the shot on on Saturday. Yeah. Go at them, try and get in in the lead. Hundred percent. You know, tonight tonight's gone. We're looking towards all the shot already. Um, there's a great chance to put things right. You know, we just need that bit of luck, like you just said, and uh, we're hoping that bit of luck comes this Saturday. But we just need to keep giving it hundred percent, and uh, I'm sure that luck will come. The yeah. fans here today were giving you the bird and a bit of a hard time when you got uh, an injury. Yeah. At the time, I zoomed in on the camera. When you put your hand to your nose, yeah. blood everywhere. Yeah. Can you tell us how that happened? And uh, I'm not too sure. Went for the, went to head the ball, and next one I had a boot in my nose. But you know, that happens. I'm centre back, and I get that nearly every week. So it's nothing different for me. So. But if it, so for the fans that were sort of saying you were feigning injury and stuff, the blood everywhere oh, will say that you, you can look at my nose, and you can see right now that wasn't faking it. So, but yeah, it happens. Okay, Kevin. Well, well played today, man at the match, and good Thank luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.